الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على من اجتبى وآله وصحبه ومن ولا وبعد to proceed here we are at the beginning of this event على موعد scheduled to go over books of knowledge books that the scholars have recommended to read and browse over and in particular some of these books uh, perhaps require more time but being that we have combined between ad-dirasa wal qira'ah we have at times study books in length thoroughly and also at times we read books briefly there's no harm in doing so ma la yudrak kullu la yutrak jullu what we cannot do at all perhaps we can do what we can and this is a form of knowledge jardu al kutub familiarizing ourselves with books of knowledge and acquainting ourselves with them even if we skim through fa in al kutub tuhilu ba'dha ila ba'd verily books of knowledge refer to one another and complete one another so here we have is the topic of the beautiful names and lofty attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is the greatest content a'zamu ma'lum it is the greatest thing that can be known and it's the most repugnant for you to be ignorant of ma a'zam al-jahl 'an al-ma'lum yani what is how uh, in despising to find that we may be ignorant of the most greatest thing that is known so we must understand that what we're about to read lahu athar azim al farud wal mujtama' wal umma it has tremendous effects on the individuals the societies and the nations at large we must realize what we're going to learn it is from the meanings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful names and lofty attributes and the more person is acquainted with the science ilman wa amalan in knowledge and also in acting upon its effects the more you're going to see him stronger in his khashya his awe and his god consciousness fil ghaybi wa shahad and secret in public you're going to find that he's going to have the sweet the sweetness halawatul iman the sweetness of faith more than ever and he's going to love his lord and as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions wal ladina amanu ashaddu hubban lillah the believers they're going to have more love for allah than the pagans have for their idols and statues And the more you learn about this topic the more ta'zim veneration you're going to have for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is as Imam Sa'di himself said fal ishtighalu bi fahmihi wal bahthu anhu yani being preoccupied with learning its meanings and searching it ishtighal bi alam al matalib it is being preoccupied with the greatest thing that can be sought. وحصوله للعبد من أشرف المواهب and the, obtaining it is from the most honorable things that you can attain and know that the more you learn about this topic of his meanings of his names and attributes the less you're going to disobey him for verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the sinners with a quality of ignorance للذين يعملون السوء بجهالة those who disobey Allah upon ignorance of Allah For this reason Qatada at this verse he said kullu man asa Allah fa huwa jahil everyone who disobeys Allah he is ignorant about Allah and the more you learn about Allah the less you would sin and disobey him and what we're going to learn is just qatra fi bahra it's just like a drop in the ocean it's little for verily wa ma qadaru Allah haqqa qadri we won't be able to encompass wala yuhitoona bihi ilma they won't be able to encompass everything about Allah's beautiful names and attributes what we're going to get is just a glimpse and that glimpse in itself will increase us to extol him and venerate him 
and to worship him on the effects of his names. And from the best of works is this work that we have of what is written before this imam, of Imam Sa'di rahmatullahi alayhi. He perhaps wrote this at the age in the year 1926, which is equivalent to the Hijri uh, year of 1344. Imam Sa'di rahmatullahi he wrote this in, at a time, at an age, when he was in his 40s. He was writing the book Tafsir al-Sa'di. And every time he was going through the explanation of the Qur'an, he came to explain the meanings of the names of Allah. Because they say the names of Allah are mentioned in over 2,500 verses in the Qur'an. Over 2,500. So to explain the Qur'an, you need to explain the meanings of the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's a great portion of the verses of the Qur'an. So we must understand he, how he came to this. He separated at the end, as some said, of the Surah Nahal, of his tafsir, a section for the names that he came to see from the Qur'an. And he wrote it. And he other, has other works of his books that he touches on the meanings of these names. But from the best book that has ever been written so far, they say, Nahju al-Asma fi sharh asma illa al-Husna. A book that is like a thousand pages, or perhaps more, written by a Kuwaiti uh, professor by the name Sheikh Abdurrahman uh, bin Muhammad bin Mahmoud al-Najdi, or Muhammad bin Mahmoud al-Najdi, an author, he authored a book that now our contemporary ulama, when they refer to a book that you want to know the names and the meanings of Allah, is that book called Nahju Al Asma. Not another book, there's another book called Manhaj Al Asna. We don't want that one. That's also regarding the names of Allah. But that book, Al Nahju Al Asma, is what the scholars have recommended, in particular, Sheikh Saleh Al Sheikh. And for Verdi, he gives you the meanings of every name and the effects that it has onto you and your worship. And that's how beautiful it is. So this book, as well as a completion, is beneficial. So let's speak briefly about the author, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nasir al-Sa'di, rahmatullahi alayhi. They mention, أَقْرَبُ الْعُلَمَاء فِي الْعَصْرِ الْحَدِيثِ شَبَهًا بِشَيْخِ إِسْلَامِ الْمُتَيْمِيَةِ وَتَلْمِيذِ بْنِ قَيِّمِ Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nasir Sa'di. The scholars that have, that are the closest in comparison to the qualities and the characteristics of Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim of this modern day and age who, who possess that, it is none other than a Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Nasir Sa'di. They said if someone were to summarize his biography, they would said regarding about his biography in two words, knowledge and action. That's how you could describe him. He was a man even at his early teens, while he's perhaps at the age of 15, he was adherent and known to be diligent regarding Salatul Jama'ah, especially Salatul Fajr. Even at a time where it lacked safety, he was consistent upon Salatul Fajr. He was a man that possessed so much good qualities and characteristics. He'd done so much, he died at the age of 67, which is the Hijri year of 1376, which is equivalent to 1956 of the Gregorian year. At the age of 67, and he accomplished so much. He was trialed with high blood pressure, and as a result, his sickness uh, increased, and he eventually passed away. But he accomplished so much. 